the balance equation for the given reaction is represented over here we are provided with the pressure volume temperature so using the ideal gas equation which is pv equal to nrt where p is the pressure v is the volume n is the number of moles of gas r is a gas constant and t for temperature substituting in the values we have value of number of mole equals 0, 0.0355 mole after the completion of reaction we have a new pressure that is p2 equals 0 0.726 atm again applying the ideal gas equation we have a new molar concentration we have new number of moles which is 0 0.0 263. We can assume the initial moles of carbon dioxide as carbon monoxide as X and to that of oxygen as Y. Making a table out of it. <clears throat> Before the reaction, the total number of moles of mixture is sum of number of moles of carbon dioxide along with oxygen. The sum turns out to be 0 0.0355 moles. Now we have putting equation number 2 into equation number 1. We have number of moles of carbon dioxide form which is 2A equivalent to 18.4 into 10 raised to power negative 3 moles. According to the reaction stoichiometry, Two moles of carbon dioxide produces two moles of carbon monodioxide carbon monoxide produces two moles of carbon dioxide then the number of moles of co consumed to give 18.4 into 10 raised to power negative 3 mole of carbon dioxide will also be same it is given the mixture of carbon monoxide oxygen Combine in a molar ratio of 2 ratio 1. So the initial number of mole of carbon monoxide can be determined, which turns out to be 0.0237 moles. The percentage of carbon monoxide converted to carbon dioxide is the moles of carbon monoxide consumed, converted into the reaction divided by the initial moles of carbon monoxide multiplied with 100 which is 77.6 percent 